I'm gonna tell you a story. Come closer. I was in my second year of university and I wanted to have a great internship for the upcoming summer. I was confident I could land a great internship in a big firm to start shaping my career and enhance my experience on my CV. Some of my applications included a cover letter and some didn't. Even when I included a cover letter, it was a generic one, something that I've done really, really rapidly and that I used for every job application. I did something really simple. I started with why I wanted to work for the company, how did I hear about the job, and I always ended with, you can call me back whenever you want, said more professionally, of course. I didn't know that a cover letter was really important, so I always used the same one and replaced the company name at the top. I know you've done it at some point, if you're still doing it though, this video is for you. As you would have guessed, I didn't get any callback that year. I decided to try new things and experiment a bit on my cover letter, but it was too late during that year to get an internship for that summer. And that's why over time, I understood that cover letters are still important nowadays and that employers do take the time to read them properly. I managed to have many callbacks the following year after applying relevant changes that I've discovered the year before. And today in this video, I wanna show you how to write a cover letter properly. The goal is to differentiate yourself and give a clear reason to employers on why they should call you back. First off, your cover letter is not an essay version of your CV. In today's job market, you need to differentiate yourself and you do that by showing your personality on your cover letter and what you can bring to the company you're applying to. Remember, the cover letter is about the company, what you can do for them, not about you and your history. The first paragraph is the most important one. You need to grab the attention of the reader so that he can read the whole cover letter. State who you are, what do you do, and why do you want to work for this company. Please avoid cliches like you're a multinational with a lot of opportunities. Stay original. The second paragraph should state the skills that you've learned in your past role and that applies to the current role you're applying to. Please include skills that were not mentioned in your CV. You can also highlight awards and accomplishments. Personally, I also include stories or something about me that you can't find anywhere else. That makes my cover letter memorable and personal. At the end of this paragraph, you should connect all this information that you just mentioned, the awards, the accomplishments, your skills, etc., to why you are a good fit with the role and the company. The third paragraph should be a call to action. You can say something like, you are welcome to contact me at your convenience if you're looking for a skillful and motivated candidate like me. Making a cover letter for every employer can be tiring. But are you serious about getting a job? Do you really want to stand out from the crowd? Do you want to differentiate yourself and start shaping your career? If you've answered yes to these questions, then you have to put in the hours of work. Success has no shortcuts. To sum up, you have to say why you're a good fit with the company and the role. You have to include skills that were not mentioned in your CV and you have to make it personal, but not too much. Thanks for watching. If you have additional questions about cover letters, just tell me in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss any of my future videos on recruitment and job hunting for students. Ciao.